Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, major storms, science news from the ground up into deep space, and let's begin with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day providing no more activity than those filament motions you saw in the opening in red. No solar flares or CMEs, and in 171 angstroms, we can see that the regions that would try to have sunspots, bright, have yet to produce them on this turn. Let's go to the solar wind. Very much calming in general. Those spikes at the right side middle panels was like a one particle detection of a cosmic ray proton instead of one from the sun. So the stream overall is calming and geomagnetic conditions are exceptionally quiet. Up top in blue, you can see that the phi angle is still riding the earth to sun orientation. We expected the flip yesterday as we connected to the southern coronal hole, but it appears to be waiting for today. Whenever it happens, we go eyes on the lithosphere. Solar wind from the opening, about 24 hours away as well. Let's begin in Charleston. The entire southeast has been whacked the last few days with the convergence lines up the coastal states doing the worst of it. Flood making rains should be ending by this afternoon. We also saw the storm lines continuing in Australia. Heavy wind and hail has caused considerable damage and will continue today, unfortunately. Let's look at the total available meteorological data over time. Back in 1980, it isn't as though we were without eyes on the skies, but with what exists now, it can make it feel that way sometimes. Between NOAA, NASA, the ESA, and increased GPS coverage and accuracy, the availability of meteorological data is racing ahead even faster with new missions slated for next year. Couple quick notes. Asian glaciers are slowing their roll, as are glaciers in various other places around the world. Their official explanation is that so much ice has been lost that they weigh less and gravity is pulling the glaciers down with less force. Okay. If you didn't catch the shots of Mars InSight Lander, they are fairly impressive given the space-based camera. You can easily see the heat shield, and if you look closely, it's solar panels. Lastly here, folks, this video is part of the Life of a Planetary System release from NASA, from how they believe the stars are born, to the birth of the planets, the long life, and finally, the end of the system comes with the end of the star. One should note that the group at NASA that has pretty much gone full plasma universe on us is not the exoplanet exploration and research team. Shows a bit as you watch the video. Website members, it is Saturday, so our weekly podcast, Fly on the Wall, is going to hit your premium section in a few hours. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.